Hey guys, it's Ben here from Surf Clinic. Um, just giving you the surf report for the weekend. Uh, I had planned to do this out in the sunshine today with the nice backdrop of the clean green waves and the beach and the sunshine, but to be honest with you, we just surfed the life out of it all day and we have been all week, so um, it's pitch dark outside now and a waste of time to be out there, but um, it's been an exceptionally good week and um, we've had just great waves all week. Everybody's wrecked and worn out and a little bit sunburnt, which is nice. Um, so let's get into the weekend. Unfortunately, the wind starts to turn a bit onshore tomorrow, Friday. Um, and Saturday, it's howling onshore. The swell picks up a lot. It goes up to 13 foot, 11 second period, which is good solid size swell, obviously. Coming from the southwest, which means it's going to come straight into the bay, so the hinger is going to get the full brunt of it. Uh, problem is, is it's 25, 20 mile an hour, 25 mile an hour winds um, onshore all day Saturday, too. Um, so you're looking at head high, head high plus waves, definitely head high plus waves, but it's going to be messy um, all day on Saturday, unfortunately. Um, with the tides as well, the tide is high in the morning. Now it's a low enough tide, low enough high tide, but the problem with it is, is with that onshore wind and that decent size swell, you're still going to wash up and around on the rocks. So you can't get in on Saturday till about half twelve, I imagine. And normally it'll be a little bit earlier, but I reckon it'll be about half twelve on Saturday before you can get in, uh, and you can surf right up till dark. Then, and um, the winds do drop off later in the day. And if you watch, if the day gets quite hot, which it has been, you might find that the wind fully backs off about seven or eight o'clock when um, the air temperature drops and the land and sea breezes switch around. So you might get lucky and get a really nice clean surf in on Saturday evening. Sunday is a little bit better. It's still a big swell, 11 and a half foot, 12 seconds. But the winds are slowly dropping off as the day goes by. Starts off about 25 miles an hour, starts dropping down to about 15. So again, decent sized swell, but a bit messy. Um, really good for beginners and improvers. Loads of walls of white water, big lots of power, catch lots and lots of waves. Um, but if you're looking for that clean green face, you're probably not going to get it this weekend in the hinge. Um, sorry about that, but next week it looks a little bit better. Um, the winds do start to go back offshore. I'm just flicking down through the net here. So by Wednesday it goes southerly and back offshore, which is really nice. Um, but you've got to watch the tides. No, tides are in the middle of the day, so you could definitely get after surf works Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday of next week. Now that's a long way away, but I'll give you a report early in the week next week maybe. Okay, have a good one. Enjoy the weekend and the sunshine wherever you end up. And hopefully we'll see you in Lynch. Be good.